Good afternoon everybody, it's Friday, July 31st, and it is another hot and humid but really pretty day here on the southeastern coast of North Carolina. And today I want to have a taste test and talk about my Chicago Hardy fig tree right here. In this orange, this formerly orange, now yellow from sun bleached uh, Home Depot bucket is my Chicago Hardy tree. And as you can clearly see, it is one of my smaller fig trees when you zoom out and see the forest. Uh, I've had this fig tree for two years, so this is actually my second season on the tree. Chicago Hardy, aka Hardy Chicago, is a tree that is, well, by the name, known to be one of the more cold hardy fig trees. And while I wouldn't go anywhere as close to saying that it's the most cold hardy fig tree by a long shot, um, it is cold hardy for being as common as it is. This is a fig tree that you will find all over the place. It's very common. Uh, all throughout the country and it is one that is known to recover from 100% dieback fairly well and it is also a fig that seems to ripen much more easily and quickly than most figs. The general rule of thumb for figs are uh, it's about 90 days conservatively from when the first figlets form to them ripening uh, but this Chicago Hardy seems to be more like 60 to 70 days. And this was actually on my cull list from last year because I did grow the fig tree out and taste tested it. And I was pretty unimpressed with the figs on it, mainly because they were so small and they didn't have the best flavor. They were quite mealy. But my mediocre review of the fig was met with a lot of resistance from a lot of folks that have this fig. And they swore up and down that Chicago Hardy is just a fig tree that takes a few years and what I am noticing over here is that um, the figs that I'm starting to get are quite a bit larger than they were last year. So in here I have a few figs that are ripening. This is nice and soft and drooping so I can tell you right now this one is definitely ready and there are several figs in here that appear to be ready to go. Uh, this one is feeling pretty nice as well, nice and soft. So I'm going to pick a few of these. And this right here is the Chicago Hardy Fig. It is a purple fig. It is a berry fig. And it has a very, uh, very tight eye. It's mostly closed. So if you have issues with rains and humidity like I do, and pests that get into the eye of your figs, this is a really potentially good uh, fig tree for you to grow. It's a good variety for places in humid, wet climates. So I'm going to take these inside and I'm going to give them a taste test. And here are the Chicago Hardy Figs. As you can see, I have six very nice ones, and now we'll weigh them all individually. That one is 25 grams, 13 grams, 16 grams, 22 grams, 18 grams, and 17 grams. So as you can see, this is a smaller fig, but despite their small size, they're still considerably larger than they were last year. I think they were more like 10 to 15 grams for me last year. So the fact that I have some in the 20 gram range right now actually makes me pretty happy. So I've selected right here a fig that feels perfectly ripe and one that feels extremely ripe to possibly overripe. This one's extremely squishy. This one feels just right squishy. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut into the both of these and I'm going to show you what the inside of the figs look like. And this one right here is the one that feels perfectly ripe. And that is a really pretty uh, red berry interior. We're going to move that up there. And now let's cut into the extremely ripe one. Yeah, that one's really quite ripe. And now for the taste test, we will start with the one that I think is perfectly ripe. I'm trying to figure out how to describe this fig. Um, this fig has a very different texture than most of my other figs. Um, and, and that's what I'm really not a big fan of. It tastes almost a little bit mealy. It's very, very soft, but it doesn't have a lot of bite. Or, text, uh, or texture to it. It's almost a little squishy. It, it, has, it has just a very light berry flavor. And because the flavor is so light, 
I'm having trouble discerning what the berry flavor would be. You know, it's just, it's a very, very faint flavor to it. Um, it's, it's definitely a lighter and more refreshing fig. Some figs are very intense and you would have problems eating many of them, but this is a kind of fig that you could eat like a potato chip. You could just eat them over and over and over again because they're so light. But I wanna give this, uh, this more ripe one uh, a taste as well to see if the flavor is a little bit more intense. Mm. Mm. Much better, much better. Um, turns out that this one is not perfectly ripe. It could use a little bit more time. Uh, this one is significantly better. This one tastes more like a really ripe and soft and supple strawberry, some kind of cross between a strawberry and a blueberry. And uh, this is a much better fig right here. It still lacks some of the flavor and intensity of most of my other varieties. Um, so I would classify this as a very refreshing light berry flavor with a mildly jammy texture but it doesn't have a lot of bite. It doesn't have any seed crunch to it. The skin is almost imperceptible. So the Chicago hardy fig is, uh, it, it is a cold hardy fig. It grows in a more compact size. It is very reliable. It does well in areas with high humidity and rains, and it's also a shorter season ripening variety. So if you live in the Northeast and you have a 180 day growing season with pretty cold winters, and you don't have a lot of ripening time, this is probably a really good variety for you. However, due to the lack of flavor intensity, if you have a longer growing season, uh, I can't say this is the best variety for you. However, it is a reliable producer and it's worth a shot. But once again, that's just my opinion. Uh, at the end of the day, the most important person's opinion is Dale because he is in fact the flavor expert. So I'm going to let him choose and find out which fig is his favorite. Does he like the one that is more ripe or does he like the one that is less ripe? So Dale, which one would you like to try my friend? Oh, you're going for the less ripe one first. Is it because it's larger? And I see Dale is drooling. So what do you think, buddy? What do you think of that fig right there? Scale of one to 10. Not much to say. Would you perhaps like another one? What do you think, buddy boy? How do you like that one right there? Pretty good. Well, Dale has no complaints, so I may not think it's the most fantastic fig, but he sure seems pretty happy, and he is the expert after all. So there you have it, everyone. That's my review for my second year Chicago Hardy fig tree. Uh, it's still not blowing my mind, but it definitely did improve from last season to this season. So maybe year three, it'll continue to improve. Everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you found it helpful, please make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe for future updates and more videos like these. If you're curious about anything that I use in my garden, everything that I use is linked in my Amazon storefront in the video description. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see all of you again on the next video.